All right, hey folks, in this video, we're gonna go over my everyday carry holster. It's awesome, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll lose 10 pounds, but first, we're going to go ahead and go over the most epic unboxing video you've ever seen. Then we're gonna take this holster out for a test drive on the range just to see how fast I can get out of the holster, how fast the holster allows me to be, and then we're gonna jump into a in-depth product review. So buckle up, because here comes my snazzy intro followed by all the things I just said. Man, that's like three, six, nines in a row. Do one more, speed it up just a touch. I got something left. Fast! This is a six, six. So it's a little squirrely there. I know, it's a good one to end on. That was out quick. All right, and welcome back. Hey guys, if I could go ahead and get you to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell, that'll ensure you don't miss out on future content where I display my terribly corny dad joke sense of humor, which some of you have grown to love and many of you have grown to unsubscribe for. Hey, we're going over the tier one concealed holster. I've got two that I'll be looking at. One is the Aegis and the other is the Axis. Both are really good. I'll have descriptions below, or I'll have links below in the description in case you're interested in procuring one. And in my opinion, I believe this is the bee's knees. This is the best appendix holster in the world. And I'll tell you why this is set apart from the competition right now. Before I jump in though, right now, and then before I jump in, but I just remembered something. So cut me some slack. Uh, drawing quickly from appendix can be inherently dangerous as it could be from the ankle, the three o'clock or the four o'clock. So make sure you go ahead and get some good uh, concealed carry training before you just go quick draw McGraw and shoot yourself or somebody else, right? So there's my good caveat indoors and we're ready to uh, dive in. The thing that really sets this apart from other holsters is this has a flexible center. Guys, if you can see that flexing right here, this allows the holster claw right here to do what it's designed for. And that's mainly to push the holster in so that the handle of the gun, let me take this off here, so that the handle of the gun pushes in and hides against your thoracic cavity or against your stomach rather. Uh, and this also is allowed to flex. So it works with your body type. If you don't have this kind of flexible center, it requires you to have an absolute perfect molding of a holster that fits your exact body type. So sometimes you get lucky, sometimes it's a little off, sometimes it's not, sometimes uh, this claw is really pushing in, but without a flexible center, it ends up just, if you want to conceal really well, it just pushes it all into your guts and it becomes a little uncomfortable, or it can make a stress fracture right here where eventually your holster will break. This is set apart that it does that. That, uh, that feature right here coupled with this means that this appendix rig is concealing better than any other holster I've seen on the market. Uh, and it's also more comfortable because it's not pushing it up into your guts. Appendix in general, for me, I love appendix because it is blazing fast. You can't get faster than appendix. Not three, not four o'clock. Appendix is faster. It's very comfortable for me as well when I'm on road trips, for instance. I may be wearing this holster for two hours. Then I look down and I'm like, oh man, I could have been... I could have been more comfortable. And I'll take my rig off and it is really, really quick to uh, put the holster on. It's just shove down pants, one clip and two clips and I'm in. And when I want to take it off, I'm like, oh, there it's off. And so really, really quick in and out of it. It's very comfortable, kind of becomes just a part of me. It's uh, yeah, great like that. Uh, it's real uh, difficult to make these holsters well. You really want to make sure all the angles right here are cut in such a way that it's not jabbing into your legs or your guts when you lift up legs or when you sit down. So the angles are really, really important as well. Also, to be able to have a consistent mounting of the uh, of your magazine and your gun in general so that it's built in line with your biomechanical uh, purchase and draw. Uh, you want a two clip system ideally right here. 
so that if you just had one uh, clip, for instance, it allows the gun to move around like so inside your pants. So every time you go to grab, you may be grabbing like this, 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 as it kind of seesaws around. So with a two clip system, the gun remains in the exact same spot at all times, allowing you to have a consistent purchase. Remembering guys, if you want speed, you don't get speed by going for speed. You go for efficiency and speed is a natural byproduct of efficiency, but you can't have efficiency unless you have consistency and consistency starts with your holster. So it's important to me to find a really, really good holster so that I can be really fast and, uh, have, and not have to compromise my grip ever. So that's the rig that I'm running. Now some additional tips. Some of you guys will ask about the sweat guard. This is the, the sweat guard right here. I prefer a mid, this is a high. A mid would be right down here and a low would be down here. You want at least a mid because when you draw a gun, it'll keep your garment from spilling into your holster, which could be a potential safety concern when you go to reholster and your shirt, which is fed into it, can make a little pigtail and pull the trigger. So at least a mid sweat guard, which is kind of the warm cup of porridge is a good idea. A high is good as well, but the high, though it holds the garment at bay a little bit better, once you're out of the holster and you bend down, say that you were taking uh, some cover, it can jab up into you just a little bit more, and it's not a big deal, but uh, I'm a, a little bit softer these days as a civilian, so there's that. The holster comes with tons of adjustment points so that by loosening and tightening these screws and moving clips up or down, you can make sure that the, whole, uh, the gun can drop a little bit lower in your pants to conceal better or a little bit higher for faster purchase. So you can kind of build your holster however you want in terms of its angles and its height. So that's very, very good. You can also adjust your retention so that the gun is tighter in there uh, or a little bit looser for faster stuff. So anyway, that's good. Obviously you can get the holster for optic cut or threaded barrels as because it's an open front down here, that means I can put a Glock 34 in here or a 19 or a 17 or a 26, whatever. All of them will fit this holster for me. So yay for that. It's also light compatible. This one has a TLR-8, and this is very, very difficult to find a holster that actually fits a TLR-8. I really like this white light. I've reviewed it, and if you guys want to check out that review, I'll go ahead and throw a link up for you as well. So TLR-8 win. Here's a look at my collection set to action background music. Yay for holsters, yay for that. All right guys, hope you enjoyed. If you guys are interested in other content, whether it's on red dots or white lights or pistol modifications, I got tons of content. So make sure you check that out. And if you, again, if you're interested in this holster, links below in the description. Guys, train hard, train smart, and I'll see you next time.